Let's give it a go. First thing, uh, would you please introduce yourself? Uh, my name is Matt Torok. I'm the assistant men's soccer coach at the University of the Ozarks. University of the Ozarks, located? We are in Clarksville, Arkansas, which is uh, around the Little Rock area, about an hour, hour plus from Little Rock, so just west. Just west, okay. So for a kid from Springfield, it'd be like going to Little Rock. Yes. Which is? It'd be about four plus. Okay, I gotcha. It's not bad at all. Not bad at all. Far enough away that you can, uh, mom and dad won't pop in on unexpectedly. It's perfect distance. <laughs> perfect distance. But you can do li- get home for laundry and a home cooked yeah. meal pretty and, easily. And fill the wallet up again. <laughs> what uh, what level do you guys play at? We are in the NCAA Division Three. Yeah, conference. We are in the American Southwest Conference. Who else plays in that conference? The majority of the schools come out of Texas. Out of uh, Texas. Yeah. So pretty tough competition, I'd say. Yeah, there's a few schools in uh, Louisiana and Mississippi and then us, but it's a big conference, about 13. It's in the soccer, there's about 13, 14 schools. Private, public, We're, a, we're a private. Uh, yeah, we have a Christian affiliation. Okay, as well then. Okay. Yeah, because uh, yeah, I think I was confusing you with College of the Ozarks located near Branson, yeah. but you're University of the Ozarks right. in Clarksville. Uh, you're, we're here today at Lake Country Soccer, and you're doing some recruiting in the Springfield area. Uh, you were telling me it's your first trip out for the school year, which mm-hmm. is a, always a good sign. Get yeah. uh, get going again. What's What are the basic steps you like your recruits to take when it comes to uh, learning about University of Ozarks and being recruited? I mean, the best thing, if, if I'm interested, I would like them to look at our website. We have, obviously, a great website with lots of information. Um, the biggest thing is when we contact them is to respond. Mm-hmm. You know that that's the biggest thing is kids kids don't respond and and they kind of wait around and I think they need to certainly exhaust all their possibilities whatever they're looking for they need to figure that out by looking at different possibilities whether it's a bigger school or a smaller school NAIA NCA there's I mean there's so many options. Uh, contact rules. I know that D1, D2, there's there's some rules on when they you can and cannot contact them. Sure. What are some of the basics for D3? Division 3, we we have rules, but it's not as, as much. The biggest rule for us is we can't talk to a, a perspective right at the, the showcase, the tournament, the game, until they've been released. That's the only thing. Until they've that, been released. I'm released from the event. Okay, uh, so gotcha. if, if we're at a showcase and it's a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we can't talk to them until their last game okay. is done. Um, and we don't have any. We can we can call as many times as we want. We can uh, email as many times as we want. We can't text. That's a that's an <laughs> NCA across the board. We can't text, which is a huge thing because uh, kids want us to text, kids but text. We can't. Right. Okay. So they're. Can you contact them without having been contacted first? As long as they have completed their junior year, yes. Okay, so once this, once uh, that last fall game is done, if they if you see a kid out here, you're going to be able to pick up the phone and contact them. Yes. But that's as as we've discovered, that's probably not the best bet. I think the uh, tell me tell me a little bit about your program. What is it about your school? Because I think. A school's important. I'm going to put an editorial spin on this one. Mm-hmm. What is it about your school that uh, your kids like? Uh, just the big thing why kids come is to, to get a good education and play soccer. We have great academics. We're on the smaller side, so we kids are, are looking at our school that want a little smaller fit with a bigger teacher ratio to student. Uh, and, and obviously the soccer program is a big hook for us. And we're out in the mountains. If you like the outdoors, we have unbelievable outdoors right at the Ozarks Mountains, and it's it's a little pretty campus. Okay, cool. The uh, let's t- let's talk about some basics. I get approached regularly. Parents want me to do a soccer video. How important has a soccer video been for you and your recruiting experience? Uh, you know, I'm, at times I'll look at them. You know, sometimes they're uh, it's a good way to just get a quick quick little snapshot of a kid uh, maybe see some pace or see some quick little technique on the ball but generally I want to see them in person I think that's the best way so a video to evaluate. so a video might be a nice introduction but it's certainly not going to get a kid recruited you know not completely you know I after I watch that video I want to I want to get a better look at them and, and hopefully see them in person 
uh, and, and go from there to see character and, and get a bit of him off the field as well. D3 level, are kids allowed to come try out, practice, do uh, do anything of that nature? That, that's a great question because we are, we are not allowed to do that. We are not allowed to have open tryouts. They cannot come on campus. They could practice with our kids, but as long as we're, we're not having official practice in season or even in our spring season. So they could come play, you know, uh, play pick up soccer with our, our, our guys, but we can't be involved, we can't watch. So they could come, they could arrange a visit to, to see the school, learn more about the soccer program as well, and a couple of your boys might go kick the ball around with them, but uh, there's no formal practice or tryout right, we, at the D3 level. We cannot watch that, that would be a violation. How, uh, how far and wide do you range when you go to college showcases? Um, you know, we, we try and get out there. Uh, we stay, you know, pretty much in the south because uh, that's where we get generally our Region kids. Region 3. Region 3, yeah. Most of our kids come from Texas uh, in that area.